The Taliban have ordered women to cover up from head to toe, ideally with the traditional burqa that conceals the entire face. The hardline pivot is confirming the worst fears of rights activists and is the latest in a series of harsh restrictions imposed on women since the Taliban returned to power last year. These women just lost another right, their right to be seen in public. This could be the last time we see women's faces in Afghanistan. As of now, they're required to cover their bodies from head to toe. Women who don't wear the hijab firstly should be identified and their guardians should be advised. The women themselves should be punished. It's the latest move to police women's lives and has confirmed fears that Taliban rule this time round likely won't be any different to their previous rule from 1996 to 2001 when women's rights were all but removed. Women's voices are notably absent from responses to the new law because they fear being punished for speaking out. Only a few dare to talk about life under Taliban rule. It is meaningless to live in Afghanistan because you feel like a prisoner. You can only eat and sleep and live according to the Taliban's will. Girls have also been barred from secondary education, though it's reported that many of the younger Taliban are educating their girls in Pakistan and Qatar. Many Afghans are infuriated by these latest injustices as the Taliban continue to curtail women's rights in the name of Sharia law.